What makes a person of interest? Get that live video going, folks. <laughs> oh, me. Good morning, Coach Michael Burt. How we doing this morning, folks? 647. Coach Burt up in Adam. Let's see if we can get some folks on here to join us this morning. There we go. As you join, as you join, let me know you're here. Give a shout out if you wanted to commit to your future today, man. Give a shout out, Freddie Blanton, if you're tired of playing with your potential, Amber Walsh. Give a shout out if you're committed to your future, Steve Johnson. What's up, David? Thomas C. Davidson. Man, if I got something good to say to you guys. Here's what I figured out, man. 9.5, 9.5 people, maybe 9.9, .9, Thomas C. Davidson, are so uncommitted to their future that it's sickening. 9.9% .9 of people out there are, are so uncommitted to their potential that they live in a false positive world. And, and good morning, Brandy. And when this, this, when, when, when you wake up and realize that you're not even close to your potential and you wake up and you get real, man, you freaking get out of, you get out of a false positive world and you get real about what level you're really playing at. You start a diet, but you quit the diet. You start going to the gym, but you quit going to the gym. You start a coaching program, but you quit the coaching program. You say you're going to prospect for two hours a day, but you prospect for an hour a day. You say you're going to make a million dollars, right, and you make $100,000. So, Darren Haley, what we're talking about this morning, man, is I'm just, I'm just sick of people that ain't committed to their future, man, and then, and then live in a, in a world of, of, of just ridiculously false positive, like they're doing something big in the world, man. Okay? It's like, it's like what, what is the, we've become such a cotton candy society, man. Good morning, Trevor. So, Amanda Banks, man, I'm on a roll this morning because I, I, I get up every day, man, and I go into battle, and I push as hard as I possibly can. You know, you, you, you meet resistance, and at the end of the day, you meet resistance, man, because people don't want to play at that level. They, they're, they're so uh, ingratiated in where they are that, that anything else is a threat to their, their future. Okay? And what I would tell you is the very first step of really playing at a high level is, is, is confronting the brutal facts about where you really are. Okay, good morning, Kevin Jones. And until you confront the brutal facts, I was in Texas talking to my buddy Matt Monero about this, who wrote a book called You Need More Money. And man, he caught so much slack, JD, about writing that book. And um, I mean, so much negative about, man, why do you need more money? I'm making $180,000 a year or $200,000 a year. Folks, it ain't enough money. I don't care how you look at it. I don't care what you tell yourself. I don't care how great you tell yourself you are. Folks, it ain't about that anyway. It ain't about the money piece. It's about pushing toward this idea of embryonic growth of, of your potential. It is about self-actualization. It is about playing at a higher frequency. And there's only a few select people, Kobe King, that want to play at that level. So it, it would be better if you just right up front, right out of the gate, said, man, I ain't interested in playing at that level. Because what you don't need to do is pretend that you want to play at that level. And then when you get pushed to play at that level, you go, no, 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 no. I don't, I said I wanted to be, I, I wanted to push, but I don't want to push that hard, coach. Because I'm like a damn caged animal, man. When I push, I push as hard as you're going to find somebody push. And then I'm going to push some more, Ken Jocelyn. I'm going to push as hard as I can possibly push. And then I'm going to push, I'm going to push three or more, four more rounds. Beyond what the, the normal person is going to push which is going to separate me from all the normal people. I told my wife once, man, I ain't interested in an ordinary life. I ain't interested in common life. I ain't interested in living, living X number of years on planet Earth and doing average things. I ain't looking for average people. I'm looking for Navy SEALs, not baby SEALs, folks. You can, you can take it to the bank. Now, here, here's what I'm saying. You may say, well, dang, coach is kind of pissed off this morning. No, I'm, I'm frustrated because I have a desire to, to stretch 
and and we're the biggest fight we're fighting right now in America is a fight of complacency and the fight of complacency is a gradual settling to a place of mediocrity and the fact is we got to get better I got to get better at every area of my life Okay, I got to be a better dad. I got to be a better husband. I got to be a better coach. I got to be a better businessman. And one of the things I said yesterday is, you 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 got to quit living in a false positive world, man. There are false positives market markets right now. Real estate is a incredibly false positive market. Daniel Hodges. Okay, it's it's crazy, man. It's just it just is. There's a lot of false positive markets in in the market right now. And so the question is, can you win when you got great players and can you win when you got average players, Daniel Hodges? My best coaching season was my last year, Mark. I went 22 and 10. We graduated almost every major player that we had. And and everybody counted me out. Everybody thought I was going to retire cuz I just won a championship. And I'm like, "Hell no, I'm not retiring." I'm coming back one more year, man. And I took this group of players that weren't as nearly as talented as those other players, and we won 22 games with them. Now, let me tell you what we did, Mike Dole. We practiced six hours a day with those players. Six freaking hours a day to win 22 games. And and people ask me, man, what are you proud of? I'm proud that we won the first championship in the school's history. I'm proud they went on to win seven of nine championships. But I'm most proud of the last season when we found a way to win because of our grit and our toughness and our, our lack and our commitment to our potential, okay? And I believe the speed of the organization is based on the speed of the leader. The leader's comfortable, the organization's comfortable. So I can't allow Eric White to get complacent. I can't allow uh, Lake and Hibden to get complacent. I can't allow external factors to affect this. So, so listen to what I'm going to tell you, Jay Cash. You've got to never allow another person to stand between you and your destiny. And I said this last night in my post, Jesse. Man, we got to take our destiny back. Too many times in my life, I've made a tremendous mistake by allowing other people to stand in the way of me and my bigger future, placing my destiny in their hands, putting all my eggs in one basket. You need so many baskets, folks, you can't even count all of them. Because because half them baskets going to let you down. Come on, Jesse. Can I get an amen on that one? Half them baskets going to let you down, folks. Okay? Half them baskets going to let you down. So you need a bunch of baskets. And this is real talk, man. The older I get, the less tolerant I am for just nonsense, man. Just excuses that people make. Just laziness. Just, just the older I get, the less tolerant I am, Carrie Ann about people who say they want to go to the next level, but they ain't the least bit interested in going to the next level. So at some point, uh, I talk a lot about this, you got to leave your amateur desire behind and you got to make a decision to go pro. And when you make a decision to go pro, it's in all four parts of your nature, body, mind, heart, and spirit. Okay, you're not going, you're not going to the highest level. And this is going to create some discomfort for you. And this is actually the purpose of a coach. I, I don't know where along the way that we got in our mind that coaches we're supposed to tell us how great we were or be a player's coach and let the players do whatever they want to. Uh, I, don't, I never did that as a championship coach. The players were players. The coaches were coaches. The, coach, the players needed to coach. They couldn't reach their potential, Frank, without the coach, without the push, without the exertion, without the force, without the discomfort. What's up, Ryan Lodi? Come on, Ryan. I'm talking about getting real this morning with folks. And so, so I don't know where along the way we – we became so soft and we we want the coach to tell us how great we are when I'm in the gym this morning I don't want her to tell me how great I am unless I do it right what I want her to do is correct my what I want her to do is correct me what I want her to do is coach me what I want her to do is create some tension in me what I want her to do is challenge me that's what I want her to do I don't want her to tell me how great I am I could stay at home and tell myself that so I think at some point folks we got to make a decision to get real and when we make a decision to get real we are leaving these amateur desires behind, and uh, and we're 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 going pro. And man, this is a hard thing for a lot of people. So I don't know where you are in your life—30, 40, 50, 60. At some point, man, there's only so much golf you can play. There's only so many so many so many days you can goof off. There's only so much sleep you can get. There's only so much laziness you can have. There's only so much. There's only so much of doing nothing, of, of, of being average, that you surely can take, folks. For the love of God, folks. There's only so much of being average, man, I can take. 
So this is a challenge for you today. And the challenge before I go in here and see my kids is to make this huge decision to go pro in your life. I'm here. I'm will, I'm, I want to coach people who are serious about playing at the next level. Okay, Navy SEALs, not Baby SEALs. I want to work with people who are Navy SEALs, not Baby SEALs. I want to work with people who want to be the best, not one of, like, I'm number 37 or I'm number 50 or I'm number 100. I want to work with people, folks, Daniel Hodges, that are the real deal. Real deal Holyfields. So if you're out there today and you're pushing, I encourage you, push harder. Fight longer. Make an extra call. Work the muscle one more time. Go the distance. But whatever you do, don't lull yourself into believing that you're there. Because ain't nobody there, man. I'm not there. I'm not there. You're not there. None of us are there. So, so let's make a commitment today, okay? Let's quit playing with our potential. Let's quit pretending we're playing at a high frequency. And let's take it all away. I got Monster Growth Boot Camp, folks. I'm coming your way. <laughs> Everybody needs a coach, man. Love you.